when we have traumatic events in our lives, sometimes a piece of our life force energy splits off, um, helping people to heal ancestral wounds by uh, journeying through these different planes of reality, the Lord. or just that emptiness that is never full, that hungry ghost. Yeah. So it's important for you to hold space for this little boy or little girl. Basically working with stones, working with uh, the spirit world, calling in these sources of power, opening a sacred space to do my work, um, learning how to track where in the body people are holding uh, these energy blocks, uh, helping people clear any entity attachments that they may have in their field, um, helping people to heal ancestral wounds by uh, journeying through these different planes of reality, the lower world, which is the place of our subconscious, the place of our past, the middle world, which is where we all have our conscious waking life, Mm -hmm. um, and then the upper world, which is the place of our ancestors, the heavens, it's where you find your original destiny. Um, learning how to do soul retrieval work. So when we have traumatic events in our lives, sometimes a piece of our life force energy splits off, uh, yeah. like a piece of our soul fragments. It doesn't disappear, but we're no longer sourcing from that piece of wisdom. So you may look back on your life and feel like you were never the same after something happened. Mm -hmm. After the certain point in your life, you were never the same, or you have this awareness that there's a certain emptiness maybe that you've tried to fill with food or drugs uh, or certain behaviors. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Or just that emptiness that is never full, that hungry ghost. Yeah. Um, so through these ancient shamanic practices, you start to realize that you have the tools, that these are real pieces of you that can be reclaimed. Um, and so through soul retrieval, we're able to journey into the underworld and find any lost soul parts that are ready to return home. Um, and that's a step-by-step -step process. Oftentimes when you've had soul loss, other things may show up in your energy field. So mm -hmm. it's important to pull the weeds from the garden before we bring that beautiful flower back in. Um, these soul parts have left for a reason. So it's important for you to hold space for this little boy or little girl that's been scared and is ready to return home but they may have certain ultimatums for you. They may have certain things that they'd like you to do in yeah. order for them to feel at home again. So it's a collaboration and that's a, a through line with this work is that you're collaborating with spirit. Yeah. When, when I call, spirit shows up. But also when spirit calls, I must show up. And that is mm. the shaman's agreement. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.